Ah. Hey, welcome back again. Oh, it's so good to see all of you again. Oh, wonderful. AI bot. AI robot in space. That is what we shall be talking about today. And I will be showing all of you how to make a very simple, easy drone army and itself self-sufficient they you can you can send them to destroy ships you can send them to destroy more ships you can make them attack anything you want now i've been playing around with this a uh, little bit and the most i really use these like ai like blocks for is to actually just like make my cinematics a little more uh impactful you know uh the last one i did or two videos i did ago i had a corvette with uh three fighters uh attacking and i set those up super simple super easy and you can even have these ships follow you and defend you so we're gonna go through just a basic setup of how to make ai fighters pretty much just for like unlimited waves so spawn a whole bunch of them just to go attack uh, a ship or a frigate or something make a scenario for yourself but we're gonna do just a simple tutorial and if you guys like it i'll probably do more all right, so let's jump right in. Now, I want to just say that something very important before you get any of the blocks for the flight uh, flight pattern block, I believe this is called. Yeah, AI flight move. Now, if you noticed right here on the side, it says R and it has this arrow right there. And then if you come to the front of it, it has an F. And if you come to the side, it also has an L. So use that as an orientation of your ship. F obviously means the face, the front of this block. Um, these arrows help indicate which direction that is. So going that way. And then you have the R for the right side. And then you have an L for the left side. So whenever you put this block in onto your ships, uh, large or small, just make sure that this flight block is facing the or like the direction that you want to go in. I could not figure out why my ships were flying sideways all the time and doing all this stuff. And I was like, what is going on? But this is the reason. It's kind of like the remote control block where you have to have it facing the right way in the right orientation for it to, you know, work the way you want it. But obviously this is all condensed into one block. Just make sure that this is facing forward. Now for the other two that we'll be using with this ship, and I believe we actually don't need the one. Uh, I think this one's basic and you don't actually need this one, but uh, the one that we're gonna be focusing on is the offensive block. Now these blocks, it doesn't matter. From what I know, it doesn't actually matter which way you put them, but just for simplicity, I'm gonna have them all facing the same way and doing the exact same thing. So I'm going to go ahead, jump right into this, and I'm just going to start building a body for a simple little drone fighter. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the little time lapse I'm about to do.
Okay, so here we have our little drone. Very nice, very basic. So now I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to make this drone work and actually shoot. Okay, so the three tasks or the three AIs that we're, we have are the basic, the flight, and offensive. So the first thing that we need is a flight move. So let's go here. We're going to turn the behavior on. And we can go in and we can just change these uh, certain settings to like make them do what we want. We want collision avoidance on. Speed limit, we're going to set that all the way up to maybe like 60. So there we have, that's our basic setup. So you can control the speed, you can control the altitude. So if you're on a planet, like that's where, like how low it will fly. Um, you can adjust settings about gra gravity and all of that. So yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go to the basic task. Okay, so in basic task, you can have your AI ship do whatever you really want in terms of basic things. So the one I've played around with is uh, follow player. So you could do follow player, follow home, or autopilot. Well, let's just do follow player just to show in case what it can do. We'll do follow 19. I'm going to click follow me. I'll fly away. Okay, I think I didn't, I didn't turn on the AI. There we go. Okay, so if we fly this way, we'll notice that our, our ship is slowly following us. Perfect. So it's doing what we want. And if we move our player over here, per se, we'll have our ship that follows us. He's doing a great job of doing that. So something I want to show is that you can actually do this with multiple ships. So this may turn to, out to be bad because just let me save the blueprint. All right. So now we have all of these ships. Now, if we fly away, they should all follow us. They will probably hit each other. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, yeah, Cause they're all right now. They're all trying to follow me, but they're all going in the same path. So that's why they keep knocking into each other. If I go farther away, they may break off and do something different. Yeah, but if you notice, they're all kind of converging on the same point, like once they get close enough to me. So uh, that's kind of a problem. Ah, they're doing okay, actually. They kind of avoided each other, trying to avoid the collisions and stuff. Okay, so we're gonna go into the offensive AI right here. So it's going to attack enemies. You can set that to enemies and neutrals, but we'll just do enemies for now. Target characters. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, priority closest, I think is the best. Uh, target search interval. I like to keep this on default. It doesn't really matter, but essentially what it does is every 30 seconds, it's going to refresh and look for the newest closest target. So now we're getting into like what is this ship going to attack? It's kind of like a turret. Uh, you can attack uh, default systems, weapon system, or propulsion, or power systems. I'm just going to keep it on default, make it attack everything. Okay, so this is where we get kind of cool. This is the attack pattern. So we can pick how we want our ship to kind of attack. Do we want it to circle the ship and uh, kind of like bombard the ship by like orbiting it? This is a really good option to me for like uh, a large ship where you have turrets and you have your ship orbiting like another ship and it's just shooting at the ship. But for fighters, I kind of like to use the either hit and run or the stay at range. So we're going to pick hit and run. So for break off distance, I want to get actually pretty close. So I'm going to turn that down to uh, maybe 118 meters, somewhere around there. And then this is the retreat distance. So once we actually break off, we will fly a thousand meters away. We're going to keep them kind of like clustered. So we'll do around 800 meters. So our ship's going to come in. It's going to be, uh, it's going to start shooting our ship. And then at 118 meters, it's going to break off, fly away until it reaches 823 meters from the target. And then it's going to turn around and do the same thing over and over again. So there we go. We have the ship all hooked up already. We're going to go ahead and save that. 
All right, so now I'm going to paste uh, the Chonk Minnow class Corvette, and we're just going to show you what these ships can now do. All right, so as you can see, we have our ships over there. There they go. They finally they found their target, so they're going to start flying in. They're pretty slow, but they'll start engaging. And they're getting ripped apart right now, which kind of sucks, but uh, I mean, that's what you get for attacking the Chonk Middle Class Corvette. So they'll come in, and then at some point, probably around this point, they should start to redirect. And no, they totally just smashed in. So I don't know what happened there, but I'm going to assume it's either because of the thrust power or the uh, breakoff distance is way too close. All right, we got four coming in. You can see this one's making a sh shot from above. There you go. Okay, so now he is trying to turn around and uh, disengage. Yeah, and you can see that the fighters are coming back. These drones are shooting from all angles. This one might smash in. Yeah. But he's doing okay. He's fine. He's okay. Yeah, we're getting shot from the back, from the side. But you can see they're trying to disengage, but their thrust isn't powerful enough. It's probably because it's like majorly ion. If I actually use hydrogen thrusters, um, they'd probably be able to maneuver a little better. Um, but yeah, as you can see, they are just, they're circling around. They're trying to get to good angles and they're using the AI blocks properly. So that was the goal. It's working good. But that's pretty much all I have for you for today. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of tutorial ish thing. I just wanted to play around, let you guys know what um, these new blocks did. I'm sure there's way better tutorials out there, but this is kind of my sweet and simple tutorial, you know, build a ship. You got three blocks that are probably your major ones and um, some easy settings to put with it just to, you know, have like an unlimited volley of all these fighters attacking you and, and uh, you know, you could defend your ship if you want to test your frigates or your battleships and you just want a whole bunch of fighters to attack you and fight you. Um, this is one way to do it. Uh, one day I'll learn how to make them like park and everything. But uh, until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next. And as always, Stay thick, stay chonk, stay beautiful, my chonk subscribers. This has been your Lord playing Space Engineers, now signing out.